What's the first thing that comes to your mind when thinking of stem cells? Usefulness? Cancer? Miracle? Or scam? These are things people associated with stem cells. But what are they? And are the hives real? Stem cells are essentially cells with unique properties. Every time stem cells divide, one of the daughters would be the same as the mother. This way, they can keep replacing themselves so they won't run out. Stem cells can also make more specialized daughter cells, which then divide and give rise to even more specialized cells. Blood stem cells, for example, can give rise to white blood cell and red blood cell, which carry oxygen and fight bacteria. So when we say stem cell can regenerate and restore tissue, it's not like they grab hammers and go fix what's wrong. Rather, they make lots of daughter cells to replace damaged cells. So if stem cells are that amazing, why do we still have degenerative diseases? The thing is, in an adult, not every tissue has stem cells. And for one that does, their stem cells have restricted potential. Like skin stem cells, we want only make cells of the skin, not blood, not muscle. Moreover, stem cells can be very rare in some tissue, like the brain. There are so few and they can't make all types of brain cells. So for things like Parkinson's, when specific brain cells die off, the body can't make more of them. So the goal would be to transplant patient with the right kind of cell, correct? But wait, where are we getting those cells? Drilling into someone's brain? Well, good news is there is a specific type of stem cells that can make any type of cells of the body. Scientists get them from early embryo, grow them in a dish, give them signal to become cell type they want, so to study disease or test drugs. The problem is, these cells have different genetic makeup from the patient, and upon transplant, the patient risks immune reaction. How do we solve this? Luckily, it was recently discovered that your own skin cell can be turned back into stem cell state. This process called reprogramming, however, is slow and complicated. So if any stem cell clinic said that they can take out your stem cell and inject it back into other tissue to cure diseases, don't trust them. We need the right kind of stem cell to make desired cell type. And even when we can make the right cell type, sometimes the treatment still wouldn't work. We just need more research. My own interest then is to study this reprogramming process and make this process more efficient and safe and make sure that we know how to turn patient cells back to the true stem cells, not just something in between. And it is my hope that we all will have proven therapy for more diseases in the very near future.